Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today we're gonna to be talking about the limited time event to get a premium card by farming for the Shield Archive event. Now I just got my 20th hat for the Witch from Dispatch as I'm recording this video, which is perfect because now we can segue into the farming and just discuss all the tips and tricks that I have for you to make this work. So I've been farming this stage for the past hour or two uh, with my tier four Thor, tier four Iron Man and tier four Venom. You do not need to use a team anywhere as expensive as this. Um, but as you can see there, I am on my 102nd run. So it's a lot of runs, it's a lot of energy. Um, level 70 tier three, Loki can farm this, levels 80, Thor can farm this at tier 3, and then of course if you get him to tier 4 he's even faster, and so on and so forth. Probably the only tier 4s that don't seem to be very good for farming would be like Moon Knight, Storm. Storm actually could be good if you can combo her with Thor, but that gets a little bit more expensive, uh, and then you're talking like multiple builds. But yeah, build a farm team to be able to farm dispatch this is a really important thing not just for this event like dispatch farming is valuable for lots of different reasons um, but this is one of them so this was stage 12 5 i'm guessing the higher stage you can go on dispatch the more <laughs> they didn't know what to do there uh the more chance you get of, of dropping the hat for this particular event you also get from anywhere from 7 1 of dispatch all the way up to 12 5 you have a chance to drop premium items and I'll go through all of the rewards that I got briefly here but you can see with 102 runs and 20 witches hats I'm averaging about one hat for every five runs of dispatch so you could probably expect to see similar returns you may get them faster you may get them a little bit slower but I don't expect it to deviate more than like four or six or seven runs so again it shouldn't take you more than you know 120 maybe 140 dispatch runs max to get all 20 of those witches hats that you need for one third of this event. So you have to get these 20 witch hats, again, completely free. I'm not spending any money. I'm just spending uh, a lot of energy, right? 100 runs, four energy a pop, it's 400 energy, but you can get more than that per day. Plus all of these other rewards, like I got a million gold here from doing this farm, almost 1.1 million gold, which is very nice. I get a ton of dispatch xp which is a nice chunk there and then i get all of these rewards including a fully amplified red iso a fully amplified chaotic i took a look at this while it was running uh, in the middle we get a lot of uh, uru obelisks and then cards let's see if we get any premium cards no premium cards this time around but that's okay so a hundred about a hundred runs that, that's what I was expecting. That is quite nice. So we're going to go over to the event now. I wanted to show you guys that first before we get into the other two parts of it because the dispatch one, oh, it's 25, not 20. Okay, I miscalculated, but that's okay. So you go to the shield archive and then you go over to the event tab if you're not already on it. Um, and then you're going to go to the pitch black Halloween special gifts. So you need 25, you actually need 25 hats, 20 pumpkins, and 20 candy sacks there. So because of that, I have to adjust the numbers. So if it's one hat every five runs, then we're looking at about 125 runs of dispatch. And again, it could be a little bit lower than 125, maybe like 110, 115 if you're really lucky. And then if you're not lucky, it might be like 175 runs, but shouldn't be more than 200 runs of dispatch. It's more time than it is energy. You can easily bank up 400 energy a day, so you can knock this out in two days, but it's more about just leaving your phone to farm because even with my fastest team, right, that 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 super stacked team that I was running with Thor tier four, Iron Man tier four, and Venom tier four on this stage here, we're doing it in about a minute. So again, 150 runs, you're talking like more than two hours, right? It's a long time. And then of course, if it's longer for you, if it takes two minutes, you're just doubling that. Now it's four hours. Additionally, if time is of the essence for you, like if you're watching this video on the last day of the event or the second last day of the event, don't do such a difficult stage. Don't do 12.5. I'm recommending 12.5 because it's gonna give you the most rewards besides the hats. And it could give you a better chance of getting hats. But if you're really desperate, lower to sector, sector seven and do seven one. I wouldn't go any lower than this because you then don't get the chance at any premium items. As you can see here, it's gold, so you can get CTPs, very low chance, but still. And then here it's silver, so you can't. So just like we say, do stage 20 plus of World Boss Ultimate and World Boss Legend because of the booty boxes, because they can drop premium items. We're doing the same logic here for the dispatch. 
However, this dispatch logic to not go lower than sector seven does not hold true for the candy sacks. Okay, so keep that in mind. So for the candy sacks, you're gonna get them from dimension missions. Now dimension missions should be part of your normal daily routine when you play Marvel Future Fight anyways, because as I move the camera over, you're gonna see that it's gold, right? I can tell you all about it. I mean, look at that thing. When I tried it with butter, everything changed. So the gold you're gonna wanna get every single day, but most players farm between 20 and 40 dimension mission runs per day on difficulty 15, because it gives you the most uh, XP towards these acquisition rewards, right? You get 12 per run, which means you do five, you get one, you do 10, you do a run of 10, right? You do here and you hit 10, you use up to 10, and that'll eat 120 energy. It'll eat some boost points per perhaps, and then it will give you two acquisition rewards, the gold, and then the first one after that, which is tokens. However, specifically for farming, the candy sacks, you're gonna do the opposite. So I recommend getting your, however many you, however many you plan to get, whether you're gonna do two or four or six, like however, wh wherever you normally stop, do your regular runs, right? Do your regular like this, right? Okay, do that. And then when you just wanna farm the candy sacks, you're going to lower the difficulty down to six, okay? because the energy cost here is too high. I just spent 120 energy and I got zero candy sacks. So I'm getting shafted. Now I did get the acquisition rewards, but like I said, only, only do difficulty 15 during this event until you're satisfied with the acquisition rewards. If you don't want any rewards past the first two, then here's what you would do. I'm gonna get a little bit of energy so I can show you how to spam this, but basically you're going to lower the difficulty down to six. And six is the lowest difficulty where it still gives you um, the most chance with the lowest energy cost. So we're just doing a cost ratio, you know, cost benefit ratio. So if you go to seven, you can see that it costs me 12 energy. But if I go down to six, you can see it only costs me six. So this is a humongous change, okay? So it's sort of the opposite. For dispatch, we were saying go to higher stages, right? Seven and to 12. For dimension missions, it's the opposite way. But again, this is only for the event. If there's no event and there's no candy sacks, then I do not recommend ever doing difficulty six. Always do difficulty 15, the highest difficulty you can do, because as you're gonna see here on difficulty six, I have a better chance, like I have, I have a better chance because I can spend more energy to get the candy sacks, but my other rewards are much worse. So we just got one candy sack, which is great. But as you can see, I got one fifth of an acquisition reward. So it would take me, right, five of these, right? It would take me 50 runs to get what I would get from a run of 10 on 15. So, right, the energy there is not really, uh, it doesn't really, the, the math doesn't work for the acquisition rewards. So low difficulty is really good for these event items or for uh, epic quest where you have to find, you know, you have to find silver surfers board pieces or whatever. That's where it's really good. But for acquisition rewards, um, for acquisition rewards, high difficulty is much, much better. Now, as you can see here, RNG is just kind of not swaying in my favor. So fortunately, we still have a lot of time here, but yeah, pumpkin, the, the candy sacks are probably gonna be the most difficult one to farm. If you're unlucky, we still have two weeks, so you have a lot of time, but yeah, I'm only at four out of 20, huh? So I'm still a bit behind from that, you know, in that regard. So that takes care of the pump, that takes care of the, um, the candy sacks and the witch's hats, but not the pumpkins, which I keep accidentally uh, almost saying. So for the pumpkins, if you go back to the archive, you'll see, you know, you click here on location as soon as the orange circle stops loading and you'll see that it's the, no, that's not, the hell? Why would you do, why, just why? That's dimension missions, cool. That's dispatch, cool. So for the pumpkins, it's from story mode. So here's what I recommend that you do. Do your story mode farming that you would normally do. Hopefully you're doing the story mode ultimate farming. I don't recommend farming normal mode. I only recommend farming ultimate mode, but do your regular farming, whether you're doing all of the stages or you're skipping a couple or whatever, do your daily runs of that. It's not that much energy. Do your daily runs here that you do, do your daily runs here, uh, which I've already done here, as you can see, and then do your runs here. So I've already done mine for today and I've done them every single day since the event started. And as you can see, I'm pretty well off on pumpkins right? I'm, I'm more than halfway there. So that's what I recommend doing. However, 
Some of you just are too impatient. You have a, a surplus and excess of energy and you just cannot wait. So if you want to target farm the jack-o'-lanterns as fast as possible, what you're going to do, again, I would still do your regular runs. Don't forget to do your regular story mode runs. That's important because of the fragments. But then after that, just keep rerunning one stage. And the stage you want to rerun is 7-3, which is actually the eighth fragment. You're going to run this one out of order out of chaos. And you're just going to run this with an OP team. So as I was saying, for my first run of the day to get the fragment, I'm going to use the designated characters. However, if you've already done that and you just want to get more pumpkins, you're like, I need them pumpkins, dog. I need them now. Then just set up a really strong team. One DPS with two supports, for example, in this case, four. Stack up a bunch of energy. And again, I'll just show you one place. There's lots of different places to get energy, guys. But I'm just going to be getting energy from the Alliance store. I'm going to get my 75. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, let's say I had more energy, whatever. I'm just going to auto run this on repeat. So it's, it defaults to this, but I'm going to go over to the other side to repeat. And I'm just going to do this. So it's not going to climb. It's not going to go 7, 3, 8, 1, 8, 2. I don't want it to do that. I just wanted to do 7-3 over and over and over again. And 7-3 is just the Red Skull boss and then the Ultron boss. It's very fast, depending on how strong your build is. And if you use two supports, which I highly recommend using two supports, you can get this stage done in 10 seconds, 15 seconds, even 30 seconds is fine. And you'll be able to easily, rapidly farm these pumpkins. Now, again, you may not need to do this at all. Just by doing your regular story mode runs, you can collect. Like I've already collected 12 of the 20 pumpkins that I need just by doing my regular farming. However, if that is not enough or if you're on one of the last days before the event expires and you need to get that premium card, do not let the premium card slip away, by the way. Then this is what I recommend doing. Just choose this stage, build your strongest team, and then just repeat farm this over and over and over until you get your la the, however many remaining pumpkins you have okay so with this help and this guide you should be able to farm all of the missions yeah i'm getting i'm getting unlucky with the drops but it doesn't matter i don't need them with this guide you will be able to farm all of the archive items that you need and there's actually a shortcut on the home page right above the event shop where you can click that and it'll take you to the archive and you can go here you are able to farm all of these for free 100%. I have to make that super clear because I've already seen people who get stuck at this step and they see, oh, I need tokens to get these items. This is a paywall event. No, it's not. It's only a paywall event if you don't know how to play the game, you waited till the last day and you don't have any energy. If those three things are true, you should probably uninstall the game, but that's just my opinion. Then it be, then it becomes a paywall event. But for everyone else who has time now is watching this video, there's still 13 days on the event. At the time of you watching this video, just follow my tips. Remember, high dispatch, low dimension missions, but don't go lower than six. And then your daily story mode farming. And then if you get to like an emergency, emergency situation where there's only three days left or four days left on the event, then you can target farm on stage seven, three for the pumpkins, target farm on seven, one dispatch for really fast runs for the, the hats. And there actually may be a faster, like seven, five or seven, seven, five or seven, three might be faster than seven, one specifically for dispatch. I don't remember the entire dungeon map layout, um, but then this is the trickiest one, the, the candy sacks. So there is one other alternative. If you are not spending any money on this Halloween event, you can take the 10 tokens, the 10 tokens that you get for free, and you can put them towards one of these items because they all cost, it's all, it's all a one-to-one -one trade in the event shop. So you could take your 10 tokens and swap them for 10 of the candy sacks. Again, you might not need the candy sacks, you might get really lucky with dimension missions, but that's just a last resort for people who are running out of time because the last thing you wanna do is let the event expire, let your tokens go to waste, and miss out on a free premium card. I cannot stress this enough. Please get the premium card, it's worth so much. Even if you get a dupe of a bad card, it's still worth a lot, trust me. So yeah, happy farming. Have fun, good luck, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.